Good morning everyone and welcome to our morning inspiration. Monday, March 18, 2024. I pray that the Lord will continue to be with you and may he be with you as you go throughout the day. Our reading today comes to us from Matthew chapter 6, reading verse 16 to 18, and it says, Moreover, when he fasts, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou fastest, anoint thy head and wash thy face. 18 and last, that thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his holy word, and this morning we are encouraged about how we are to fast. The scripture says that when we fast, we do not need to make it a spectacle to others that we are fasting. So we don't need to be looking all grumpy and looking like somebody hit us in our face. We don't need to advertise that we are fasting. What the scripture say? It says that what? We must what? Not have a sad countenance. That's an hypocritical behavior. So we disfigured our face so that we can give the impression to others that we are fasting. Are we praying to man or are we praying to God? The Lord said, for those of us who practice this, we have our reward. We have our reward and it, it won't be a good one. But the Lord says that when we fast, we must what? Anoint our head and that we must wash our face. So we must be pleasant. We must look pleasant before the Lord. We are coming before a holy God and therefore we need to conduct ourselves as such. So we don't need the world to know that we are fasting or we don't need to appear to man that we are fasting. We need to enter into our closet, meaning that it's supposed to be a personal time between you and God, not a time to make yourself into a spectacle. Do you understand? So you don't need to stand on the street corner and pray. I mean, if you are doing a public prayer, that's a different scenario. But I'm talking if you're praying by yourself, find a corner or even while you're walking, just pray. But we must remember that we must show reverence to God in how we are, when we are coming before him. So I pray that you know, we will take the lesson from the reading this morning and use it. We have been fasting for a couple of weeks now, 21 days. And I pray that as you continue to fast, as we continue to fast, that the Spirit of God will be poured out on us. Amen. Have a wonderful day.